hello and welcome to my channel my name is Danica and I'm a part-time reseller mostly on Poshmark I sell on Poshmark Canada and Poshmark US if you're in Canada and looking to sell on Poshmark US I do have a video about how to do it so I will link it up here for you it is a couple years old but all the information is the same so today's video today's video is a thrift haul so these are things i've picked up in the last month on layovers i think honestly these bags have been sitting in my spare bedroom for like a long time i should check the dates on the receipts <laughs> one of them is from a layover in regina and i haven't worked since march 24th so it's at least that old but anyway so i've been just meaning to do a little haul for you guys um it's been a minute so before we get into it um if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet i would love if you did give me a thumbs up before you go and don't forget to leave a comment let me know what you think the best thing i found was and what's gonna sell for the most amount of money since you know that's what we're doing here okay so when the heck did i get this i don't even know where i got this maybe this was regina too did i go twice anyway I was looking for oversized t-shirts for like oversized shirt and biker short season. It's upon us. And since I'm Francophone, I had to grab this one. It says Joie de Vivre, which is like a play on words, Joie de Vivre, obviously. Um, this is from 1997, so it's a nice vintage tee. And this one probably is like a large pretty excited about that next I tried these on which they're small so I don't know what I was doing trying these on but they are Wilfred which is Aritzia and they are silk trousers um, and they're like very cute patterned like wide leg Lots. and yeah they're a size small but they're in like perfect condition I didn't find any runs or any flaws in these which um, I'm not very good at checking for that kind of stuff I mean at least I know myself but I didn't find anything in these so hopefully they're okay and I feel like I would have noticed it even more when I was trying them on but they're good um, very cute and now that people are going back into the office I mean, I don't think anyone went down to a small <laughs> during the pandemic, but you never know. Um, this is Sunday Best, which is another Aritzia brand. This is a large, and the Valley Village forgot to price this up because I've never found Aritzia for this little. And it's got these cute little oranges on the front. It's just like a little basic tea, but very, like, just good for summer these are a wrist okay so when was i there this was in regina and i was there march 20 uh april 23rd and it is today may 9th so that's actually not that bad i guess um these are blue blue lemon and I can't find a size on these at all. I looked everywhere. Um, unless it's in these pockets. But these pockets are still stitched sh stitched shut. So maybe I need to undo the stitching and check in there. Which is fine. Like, they're meant to open. They're meant to, like, be used. Um... Yeah, I don't see anything, but I would say looking at them, they're probably like a four. That would be my best guess, and they're just like a little sweatpant. They look very comfortable, 
and they have these pockets on the back and pockets on the front and yeah I freaking ripped those inside out um trying to find a size and I just don't see one which doesn't mean it's not fake people think that if Lululemon doesn't have a size dot it means it's fake that is not true they just don't size dot everything like I'm wearing a like reversible Lululemon sports bar sports bra crop top right now and it doesn't have a size dot I literally bought this myself a few months ago and it doesn't have a size dot and I just ripped off the um the size tag today the rip tag because it like is in an awkward spot anyway so I'll just measure these I don't even know what the style is called I haven't looked into them at all so I was like feeling risky so I went ahead and bought them also can we I have my Stanley cup here the adventure quencher these are impossible to get I'm like viral city here with my scuba half sip and my Stanley cup Stanley tumbler I've worn this three days in a row um and the last thing from second last thing from that haul is this really this pair of really cool vintage Levi's flares I mean you can just <laughs> they just smell vintage <laughs> look at that tag I've never seen that before um they are authentic all the little pieces all say Levi's on them um so they're fine they are a third actually I had found something online recently about how to read this tag to get the year and the style um made in Canada that's pretty cool it says they're a size 28 and I think the style is either 505 or 518 so I'll need to google that but um very cool they're so stiff the cotton is just like okay so that was one oh and the last thing I got during that haul was this oversized shirt it's rush it's not vintage or anything it's just um like probably H&M or something I don't know it doesn't even have anything on it but I stole it last week I wore it last week I think so it's like extra large at least okay these two things I got last week with Courtney but they're just for me it's just a pair of Lululemon bike shorts, but they're like shorter than the ones I have now. And this American Eagle top, I don't know, will I ever wear that? Who knows? Okay, now this haul is from <laughs> April 7th although I got these shoes the other time like the haul I just showed you also these I got these in Regina too so these are vintage 9 West I am keeping these um I just feel like these are like perfect sandal for the summer like if I don't want to wear my Burks, they're like a little, not dressier, but just like a little less casual than Birkenstocks. And th these will be for sale. They are just Kenneth Cole. 
um the lady who was checking me out at Valley Village was so cute she's like oh my god check out these dancing shoes but they're like very cute with the peep toe and the ankle strap um and these are also a size nine I think yeah so okay that's one haul next haul this is when I was at a consignment store that day dropping stuff off and I just ran over to Valley Village so these are so cool. I need to get these listed soon. Um, they're 705, which is um, Walmart brand, but I just got them on style. They're like macrame on the top with wrap around strap. And these are a size eight. So I just love these. They're like, just very cool very cool in my opinion this pair of leggings these are aritzia well fit free these are the i think it's called the daria leggings um they need to be washed obviously because they're a little wrinkly <laughs> but they're a size medium as well so i love getting aritzia in a size that's bigger than a small extra small because it's just kind of rare honestly and then last but not least is this coach handbag i think it's beautiful like the ostrich leather it's just very pretty it needs to be conditioned like it has some dry spots but it's very pretty the inside is just it's nice and slouchy um if you didn't know i did not know this when i first started reselling um and you find coach you can put in this number into google and it'll come up so that's like just a super easy way of of um knowing what the style is called oh my god i should make sure the zipper even works it does <laughs> all zippers work the hardware is just like nice and heavy too this is a very very nice bag i'm very selective with coach i don't buy all of it um but so yeah that's kind of the last things I got at Value Village. I mean, I've been to the bins a few times in the last weeks. Um, that's like a whole other thing, but I'm slowly getting that stuff listed. And when that's stuff listed, I will get this stuff listed too. Eventually, I've got a lot going on right now, um, but at least I'm off work until May 29th. So I have some time to get things done i am also working on a little craft project so maybe i will show you some of that in another video and yeah i'm like doing some purging um just like personally like just doing some spring cleaning and kind of staying focused um i know a lot of people are going through like very very slow sales i am I am not one to jump on the bandwagon and immediately be like, uh, it's Poshmark. Like nine times out of 10, I'm like, what am I doing wrong? Like I'm not listing or I'm not sending offers, but I have been listing my butt off. I have been sending offers. I have been doing everything and I'm still not really, I'm, it's picking up a little bit, but not really. I made five sales over the weekend, which is great, um, but definitely less than in the past. So I'm not really sure. Hopefully it picks up soon. Uh, summer slowdown is coming, which also I'm not a huge believer in. <laughs> I think a lot of people just hate taking accountability. <laughs> But I don't think right now is one of those times, to be clear. I think right now, I mean, Poshmark, if you watch my search hacks debrief, Poshmark specifically said they have test groups and they're seeing a lot more sales 
with the test group. So I'm like, freaking put me in that group then. <laughs> I want to make sales. <laughs> um, but I'm just like, just doing what I normally do. I'm doing a little bit more just because I do have the time right now and I have the inventory to be doing that. Uh, but yeah, so that's where I'm at. And yeah, I have another thrift with me that I will be editing and uploading. So again, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would love if you did. Um, I am going to try and be a little bit more active here. I kind of fell off a little bit there. <laughs> um, I haven't done a what sold video in a long time, but honestly, it's because sales have been really slow. So there wasn't really much to show. So, and just with working full time, it was a little much. So anyway, that is my update that is my latest haul let me know what you think my best find was i think my favorite thing is probably the coach bag or the sandals that i'm keeping although the vintage levi's are always i have such a soft spot for them the comps are like never even that good but i can't leave them so what was that noise Anyway, I will see you next time. See ya.